Society and bought myself an uncapping tinny box thing. But I'm not really sure. What do I usually say? Could be good, could be shit, but we'll find out shortly. It's from the I Woohoo people on the internet, so it could be bloody anything. <laughs> could be good, could be shit. We've sold a lot of those coffee mugs to people working in offices, but I'm not really sure what feedback you get at the table. Like, you know, what do your office mates say? You know, <laughs> I, would, I would like, if you're just, if you getting bored, well, you're not getting bored, if you get, if you want to, it'd be rather cool just on the Facebook page, just like some of the funny comments that your workmates are making about them coffee mugs. And kudos to you for buying them, because I reckon that's good fun. I've got a couple in my cupboard. No, no, they're good actually, aren't they? Anyway, let's see what we've got. The great unveiling. Not quite as exciting as landing on Mars, but still, you know, critical. <laughs> oh no, it's got a scratch already. Bloody hell, Harry. Uh, Terry, what? Oh, shit, I can see myself. Oh my god. I wonder back in the day whether that was a mirror, like shiny bit of tin. I think it was. I think it was brass, though, they used to shine up and stick on the wall. And if you go there, you're a bit of everybody. You're really small. And you've lost your lips. Look. Oh, look like a bit of an asshole. Another new? No, no, thank you very much. I thought you'd say that. Enough fool arsing around. Okay, so we'll put that over here. Oh. Right, let's see what we've got here. Yeah, that, that's their attempt at an oven rack. I might have to. I might have to actually get my real oven rack out because I mean that looks a bit. You know, but anyway, I think that's going to be the wrong way for our honey pour, isn't it? That's going to be the problem. Because that's going to have to sit there instead of like that. <sighs> the things we do. What's that fucking robot? Beep, 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 beep. Danger, Will Robinson! Danger, danger! <laughs> Right, now what else have we got in here? Oh, God! Well, it comes with a long honey tap. I bought some cheap ass honey taps. Anybody out there in internet land, don't want to get a bit of a heads up from the bush bee man? Don't buy shit cheap bloody honey taps, they're crap. Waste 20 bucks and get a proper one. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Just don't do it. There you go. Because the cheap ass version, this bloody O ring doesn't seal. Of course, that's the only thing that seals the bloody thing, isn't it? That friggin' O ring. So, if you manage not to screw up and cut your hole the wrong size, your shit will drip out the front anyway, so, yes. Waste 25 bucks and buy a proper tap. We'll get real excited and buy a metal one, but, whew, I don't know, they're even too miserable to give me one of them in here. Right, sorry, I digress. There's some legs. Oh, shit, they're heavy. Everything's so shiny and new. How long do you think it'll last? Probably about until this afternoon. <laughs> It might stay shiny for a day if we're really lucky. Probably until we use it. Maybe we'd be able to get it clean after, you reckon? That was a bit lucky it didn't fall over. And we have the... This is a bit... I didn't understand this part, because this is the... This is the drip tray bit. But... You would think the bloody drip tray would be dangling in outer space, or these hooks would hold it up, or something, but... I suppose it's got little, these little funny little legs. But I would have liked it to have been a bit in the air a bit. Anyway, I'm sure the Bush Bee Man will bastardise this thing somehow. I'm guessing it's got to be that far down because the frames will have to dangle in there. We might find a frame and see what happens. Surprisingly, as a beekeeper, I just happened to have a bee frame laying around the place. But of course, there was a time not so very long ago that finding a B frame was quite interesting because, you know, new to the game and all the rest of it, making B frames was quite an ordeal. But now, the bloody shit's laying around everywhere. So, anyway. Oh, let's have a look here. Yeah, see, there you go. That's where you could do the thingamajig-a-majig. But it still doesn't need to be that low. Nah, anyway, doesn't matter. 
Anyway, so I'm assuming you do the plugging off and you hang your frame there before you put it in your machinery dip. The honey extractor for all the professional people out there. <laughs> Not the thing of me dick. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, that's a big pot. What? No. <laughs> uh oh. I'm going to be all funny and try not to scratch it any more than I would have to, so I'm going to... I'm hoping to use this piece of foam that, that they graciously sent along. Oh, you know, there's no real point in trying not to scratch the bloody thing, but you know how it is when you get something new? You just kind of... You just want to pretend you're going to be nice to it, don't you? But anybody who watches along just knows that's not going to happen. See, we've got a hole in the bottom. Now we're upside down and inside out and all about. We want to make sure we put the bloody thing in the right way around, don't we? So we can push it easy. Anyway, here we go. This is the joys of the internet. As you would know, it's nearly as much fun as when a jar of my honey turns up across the world. <laughs> oh. Right. They're just going to be straight up in there. Are they, are they going to have any bottom bits? We might have to come up with our own bottom bits. Oh, don't scratch it, bush baby. Yeah. Have you read the instructions? No. Did it come with any? I haven't seen any instructions yet. Can't be that fucking hard, surely. It's only got. No. I mean, it's only got two options. I can go there or go there. All right. Oh, I'll shut up, you. Might be a bit short one in this one, I think. I think maybe we'll have to stand in a hole. Ah, oh, well, anyway, <laughs> if the silly bloody thing works, we'll put it on some other bench. Wow, oh, it's very bright. Wouldn't want that on a sunny day, would you? Poor Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> oh, come on, legs, you can do it. <laughs> Might get a sore back bending over that. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming the rubber seal one goes on the inside of the pot. We're going to put our split wash away. No! God damn it! <laughs> put our split washer. And then our flat. No, actually, wrong way around. Put the flat washer. Then your split washer. And then the nut. Yeah, I know, the nuts putting it together, but just don't have to say that. Just be charitable. I might just go and find myself a screwing up device. Or for all those all professional folk out there, it's probably called a spanner. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna have to stand in a hole when you do the uncapping. Well, you won't get to do the uncapping anyway, because I'll have you carrying the heavy pots in because all your big muscles. <laughs> Although, my mate, Louis the, Louis the um, cap tar lift guy, he reckons, what the hell are you, don't be carrying your supers, you just get them on the lift and bring them in that way. So, that's the plan. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> ah you see now, lad, that could be the trick. That could be in a little bit of mischief making. Then we're going to do it that way then. So the, yeah, that looks. I reckon that looks nicer with the fold on the up there. Where are the directions? He says. Why don't we got it? We might put the tap in while we've got it up here. Otherwise, I only have to turn it around again to do that. I got a I got a bucket in the shed there that I got the wrong hole saw and drilled the hole a bit big, so the whole bloody tap went through the hole, which was a bit of a worry. Anyway, I'm assuming these professionals would have got it right. My professional honey tap spanner. <laughs> Very high tech here at a bush bee camp. Just noticed there could be an interesting fault with this. 
it's not quite going to drain out of there real good, is it? So all you professional beekeepers out there that are laughing at me just at this particular moment in time who have probably done this already, it'll be okay, I'm sure. But maybe not. Well, anyway, we'll leave the tap in there and then if it's... We might go to town and see if we can get something that's a bit flatter. Just thinking about that silly bloody tap. I wonder if it would matter if I had no tap and just had the bucket under there anyway. So, because I mean, it's not going to be super duper sealed, is it? Like, hell, I guess I could throw a little bit of some sort of plastic cardboard in there or something to seal it off if I really wanted to get excited. Because that's going to be a pain in the ass. There's going to be like three inches of sticky muck stuck to the bottom of my tub. Anyway, I think that's what we're going to have a try, so. I guess it'd only be if you wanted to change the bucket over. But do you imagine trying to bloody unscrew that thing when it's all full of honey? That'd be a pain. They got a little bit motivated and made a crease here, so that they're having a slight fantasy that the honey will run. <laughs> so that shit. Ah, anyway, we'll work that out. Go. <laughs> it'd be a bloody nuisance if we leave it in there. The upside to it is we'll have another tap. But that's not the reason why I'm thinking about taking it out. I'm just thinking, you know, you'll be in there trying to tip the bloody thing up to try and roll the honey out. I suppose you'd be in there with a scraper to push it over the lip, but it's sort of defeating the purpose a little bit, isn't it? <sighs> what do you reckon? Well, I reckon we're going to do a little bit without it, and then if it gives me the shit, we'll put it back in. This isn't quite the right stick for this job, but... If you get the right size stick, you can just slide it in there like your proper spanner and just do up your taps nice and easy. Oh, come on. Anyway, if you're only doing up a few honey taps, that'll save you a whole lot of stuff around to trying to figure out how you're going to hold that in there. There's probably a special tool you can buy, I bet you. It does them up, but anyway. Where would be the adventure in that? Now, I'm assuming. Well, hang on. You probably should put the the base plate in. Hang on, I'll put this back. God, all the continuity will be out of the whack now. Holy shit! Where's the clapperboard so he knows where to cut back to? Anyway, <laughs> so we're gonna put this bit in. It's a bit flimsy, ass. This is. But anyway. Not even completely through the edge either. I don't know. Anyway, bah. and we get the get the thing of a jig. Well, I'm assuming. Don't know for sure, but I'm assuming that'd be fucking stupid. Like it's already short. Imagine if you had to bloody put the. Would you go like that? What the hell? Is it, well, I suppose that would be alright if we weren't using a honey pour. But now that we've changed direction, and we've got something more cool, I wish that would be just for a knife, wouldn't it? It might work, because then you're supposed to go... We were supposed to go that way, weren't we? Well, that way. We're supposed to go that way. Long ways or short ways? Can you remember? Short ways. That way. So that's going to be a pain in the ass. I don't think you want to do that. Hell. It's a bit too wide to straddle. <laughs> if we put it at that end, like that, and then put them in there, then that would be a bit weird ass, wouldn't it, if you stand it there? Then what would you, where'd you get on? Imagine this is full of honey. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> oh, shit! I think we need a drill. Oh! Anyway, we'll put a little dot. A little black dot. And a little bit in a bit. How did a bloke bend that? Ah, oh, God. 
Anyway, if it doesn't drill a hole, we're going inside. Oh. So we'll try a smaller drill first. Hold <laughs> oh, It's a bit tricky to get in it. <laughs> I reckon we could go like that. Do it a lot quicker with an automatic decapper, but lots on the list. Once you've got honey and stuff dripping everywhere, you should be able to take it with that hand and pop it into there so it can wait for the extraction. That should work, I think. <laughs> Shave in a honey pot. <laughs> Supposed to be shaving a haircut, but anyway. Yeah, anyway, anyway, that's, that's what we're up to today. We might pack that up, put the lid on it. Pop that in there, and it comes with its own lid to keep it all happy. Just push it up there two ways, so we go up that way. Um, marvellous. All it needs is a handle, and you'd think it's a Barbie. <laughs> anyway, that's enough of that for today. She's a bit cheap ass, but it'll be all right for what we're doing. <laughs> Look at that, fucking. That's a bit push pee man, isn't it? Good God. I'm not sure how it's going to stand up to the um, rigors of the bush bee man honey extraction plant, but you know, you get what you pay for, isn't it? <laughs>